One of the first things you're going to do when you first set up your Edpuzzle teacher account is to add your Google Classroom classes. You're going to want to do this whenever you get a new class like at the beginning of the year, beginning of a new semester, or just getting started with Edpuzzle for the very first time. To do this, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the plus icon under the My Classes section, and then you're going to want to select the Google Classroom option. Click on this. You may be asked to uh, have permission to access your Google Classroom courses. Go ahead and accept those, and once you do, go ahead and select which classes you want to connect with Edpuzzle. In this case, what you're going to want to do is click on a class, select the grade level that the class is. I'm going to search all the way down here, down to other, and then select import classes. Once you click on import classes, it will pull your class in and you should see it listed under my classes below. One important thing to remember when working with Google Classroom and Edpuzzle is that if you have any roster changes, that is kids coming into your class or moving out of your class during the school year or during the time that you are teaching kids, you're going to want to make sure that you resynchronize those classes from Google Classroom into Edpuzzle. To do that, click on the plus button again by My Classes and then just repeat that process of adding that class again. Now that you have your classes added into Edpuzzle, you can now assign lessons to them. To learn more about assigning lessons to students in your Edpuzzle class, feel free to click on the video that explains that process.